Hi, in this video, I'd like to talk about teratoma once again and its relationship with recurrent miscarriage because teratoma is a known cause for uh, repeated pregnancy losses. So, as we explained in the previous video, teratomas are ovarian dermoid cysts that contain these germ cells that can turn into any kind of uh, uh, fully formed tissues, which is why we will observe them to be sometimes uh, carrying some hair teeth, bone structure, eyeballs, other types of organs and it's quite a horrific view and they will be growing on the surface of the uh, ovaries. Now why can it cause miscarriage and why can it cause repeated miscarriage? Now first of all uh, sometimes these teratomas are not diagnosed uh, during your prenatal checkup maybe because it's too small or it's not uh, visible in the ultrasound so uh, a lot of times we need the patients to come with some symptoms to help us uh, accurately diagnose the presence of a teratoma. Otherwise, sometimes some women can just go on with the pregnancy without really uh, being aware that they have a teratoma. And then these teratoma will affect the pregnancy in two ways. First of all, it'll affect the ovarian functions. When it affects the ovarian functions, first of all, it will not create uh, high quality oocytes because the, uh, the teratoma is actually uh, competing blood flow and nutrients that is going into the ovaries but now it's uh, taking some of it for itself uh, if there's a lack of a abundance in nutrients and uh, uh, blood flow the development of these egg cells in the ovaries will be affected so when an egg cell is re uh, released from the ovary with a teratoma it is of a lower quality and then sometimes uh, even though it's fertilized, it may not be able to implant itself well. Or it may not even get past uh, the first month or second month because it didn't develop well. So you cannot expect it to uh, mature into a proper pregnancy. Second of all, it also will affect the maturation and the development of the corpus luteum, which is inside the ovaries. Corpus luteum, we've repeatedly explained that it's one of the most important components of a pregnancy because in the first three months, Corpus luteum has an important function of uh, secreting high levels of progesterone to sustain the uh, pregnancy and also avoid early miscarriages. This is uh, the function of progesterone. So if there's an ovarian teratoma, your corpus luteum will definitely be affected. It may not be a significant size and then it's dysfunctional because it didn't develop well, secreting low levels of progesterone and then eventually leading to early miscarriage. Furthermore, even if your pregnancy does make it through the uh, first trimester, it will also compete nutrients and oxygens with the pregnancy itself, with the baby itself. And then if it's uh, uh, in the second trimester or third trimester, it may lead to a pressure-induced late miscarriage. Although in our history, we always observe that these types of cases lead to an early miscarriage within the first three months. So diagnosis is very key and then treatment. So an important thing that here in Nantai Hospital that we do is that we can have the surgery conducted even when you are pregnant. As long as you get it done quickly within the first three months because your pregnancy is still developing, it's still small, you may, uh, you can still undergo laparoscopic surgery to remove it so that your pregnancy can stabilize, progesterone levels can stabilize, giving a full-term healthy pregnancy without uh, having to lose a pregnancy. So. To find out more information about teratoma and recurrent miscarriage, please visit our website. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below.